In this video, we're going to summarize emails using Langchain and OpenAI. Now, before we get started, you may question the wisdom of giving OpenAI your emails. Will they use our data to train their models? Let's address that concern. According to this article, ChatGPT probably will use our data, but the OpenAI API definitively will not. So with that concern out of the way, this is the Mother Duck DuckDB email newsletter that I received a few days ago. I've downloaded that email in EML format, and now we're going to summarize it. We're going to use the unstructured library to parse the email. So let's load the email using Langchain's unstructured email loader. And if we now look at the duck email variable, we can see the contents of the email and we can see that it more or less looks like it's loaded correctly. Next, we're going to import OpenAI and load our API key using .end. And then we'll initialize OpenAI with the GPT 3.5 model with 16K context. It's now time to do some summarizing. So Langchain has a summarized chain function that we can use out of the box. So let's load that and then run it on our email. And I'd say that's a pretty good summary and it took just under four seconds to generate that. But I wonder if we can change the type of summary that it generates. So by default, this is the prompt that's being used and you can actually pass it into the chain, which means that we can change it to use our own one. So let's update that prompt template. So instead of a summary, I'm going to ask it to give me five bullet points from the piece of text instead. And if we run that chain again, I think that's much better. I, I, I much prefer to see those bullet points than the, than the paragraph of text, but I do wonder how much all of this is costing me. And so Langchain has the get OpenAI callback function for us to figure this out. So let's make another call to our chain inside that callback, and then we'll print out the collected metadata. And so you can see from the results, it prints out the number of tokens that you've used uh, in your prompt, the number of tokens used to give you the response. And then the, right at the bottom, we've got the total cost, which is one third of a cent, which I think isn't too bad for this task. Let's now create a function that captures the amount of time that it takes to generate a summary. And then that cost info that we just saw, and we'll put it all together into a dictionary response. And if we run that function with our chain and the duck uh, DB email, the results are exactly the same. So they shouldn't surprise us. But what about if we use it with some of OpenAI's other models? So we're going to compare GPT 3.5 with 16K context, GPT 3.5 with 4K context, and GPT 4. So let's loop through those models. We'll run the chain on each of them, and then we'll capture the results and put it into the results array. And so if we run that, we can see it sort of prints out when each one has started, then when it's finished. And if we give it a few more seconds, we can see all three have now finished. And we can now, let's import pandas and we're gonna import a, a function for styling a pandas data frame that I've created. All the code will be in the description and then we'll just style our pandas data frame. And you can see we've got the results. Uh, so it includes the model, the summary, the amount of time and the cost. So we can see that the GPT 3.5 16K and the GPT 3.5K are identical or almost identical. Although I have found that sometimes when I run it, they give me different results. But if we scroll down a little bit more, we can see the GPT 4 results. And this has a much more detailed set of bullets, but it does cost 12 times as much and takes three times longer. So give this a try with your own emails, maybe tweak the prompt a bit and let me know how you get on. And if you want something else to watch, check out this video up here where I show how to do retrieval augmented generation using OpenAI and ChromaDB.